Hi, I'm Diana Bardot and I'm Holly Randall's Bombshell of the Month. My favorite place I've traveled to are probably Florianopolis in Brazil. It's like a very nice, lush beach town. And definitely anywhere in the south of France is so fucking beautiful. And I'm really excited I'm going back to Europe for the first time since COVID this summer. So it'll be really exciting to go see my family. Celebrity crush. Um, I'd have to say like, Mila Jovovich and Dazed and Confused. I don't know, she, she doesn't really talk at all, but she's just really fucking hot. Favorite thing is getting to do something new every day. It's usually never boring. I get to have new experiences and, you know, it's you get to kind of play different fantasies and dress up and, I really like that part. My least favorite part though is having like bad makeup artists that can definitely uh, deter your day. <laughs> um, so my hobbies, I really like cooking. Um, I am a little bit of a, of a hermit though. So I do like to just like lounge around a lot, but I would say one of my hobbies is definitely like um, interior decorating. Um, it's not a cheap hobby, but <laughs> I just moved into like a really big townhouse. So I've been having a lot of fun, like being able to like decorate the guest room and create like a outdoor area. And um, yeah, I like being challenged with like small spaces, especially and seeing what I can do with them. I definitely like more on the modern side, but I don't like things to look sterile either. So it kind of goes back and forth. Sometimes I like to be really minimalist, but and I also like to have like more of a cozy feel as well. I like having things that are like, everything's white with like different pops of color. Lately my favorite movie has been The Neon Demon. Um, I really like the story, but most of all, I just really like the cinematography of it. It's absolutely gorgeous and yeah, it's very, I feel like it's definitely inspired a lot of photography style now with like, you know, colorful lighting and stuff. Favorite type of music? This is always a hard one for me to answer because it's like my music taste is like kind of eclectic and all over the place, but my Spotify like yearly wrap up this previous year said that my top genre was chill wave. And number four was escape room, which I still don't really know what that means, but um, yeah. <laughs> My type of guy, I definitely like guys who are, I don't really like like big, like muscly guys. I like guys who are more like, definitely more like artistic, softer, um, but in terms of like looks, I definitely like blonde guys for some reason. I don't know if it's because I grew up in Miami and like, you know, surrounded by like so many Latin people. My family is also like half Latin, and so I like somebody who looks very much like the opposite of me. Well, my mom is French and my dad is Brazilian, um, but I recently did a, one of those like DNA tests where you can see where your heritage is. So. It actually showed him a lot more Swiss Italian, which makes you sound like a yummy sandwich. My greatest fear, I'm like always so paranoid that somebody's breaking into my home. Like I have to like obsessively check like all the rooms sometimes, but um, I'm getting better about that. <laughs> My greatest ambition right now is to own a home, but eventually in the future, I would like to get into buying up more real estate and then flipping houses and then reselling them. So, yeah. Three things. Um, definitely music, so I guess either like I don't know, music on an iPod, I guess. <laughs> um, 
a lighter. You can do a lot of things with a lighter and I guess a knife. <laughs> I definitely don't like rude people. Like some of my biggest pet peeves are like when people don't hold the door open for other people or I don't know, just especially when people like don't listen to when like someone's talking. I'm Van Bardo. I hope you enjoyed getting to know me better and you can find more of me on Holly Randall's website.